Hi friends, I'm Casey. I'm Nadia. This is my daughter. For those of you who have missed out on her wonderfulness, um, she was in a bunch of my videos about six months ago, but then she went off to college and lives, I don't know, hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes away. And I've talked her into doing a question and answer with me that while I was watching Ash and Andy, Mask Monday videos yesterday. I thought those would be fun. I'll see if Nadia will do them with me and we'll do like a get ready with me. But I, while she was off at college, um, started doing my makeup already. Guys, Eyes. I'm gonna use these two palettes that are so beautiful of mine while, that I brought yeah, with me. while they're here. And I used my new one, the Fade into Hue. And I did kind of a sunset look, I think. <laughs> we'll show you better later. But yeah, I only got my eyes done. And then yeah, they were like holiday questions, and I thought they would be fun to do with Nadia. Number one, do you have any holiday traditions? Okay, my holiday tradition is that I always have a sleepover with my sisters um, on Christmas Eve. And well, because it started because you know they lived together, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I like when they were little, started, they were... I thought it started because my big sister wanted to spend time with me. But apparently she only invited us in her room because mom said you have to have Nadia and Eve in your room because they're going to try to go see Santa Claus <laughs> and you need to watch them. And I thought it was sweet, but now I still make them do it with me. Um, yeah, because we do it because it's tradition because we have to. But I think it's fun. I am um, always liked, but we actually haven't done it. So does that mean it's no longer a tradition? Um, but until like the last two years, we always decorated the tree together. Um, and like we got out all the ornaments and I passed them out like one by one. And like, we literally would talk about, <laughs> you know, almost all of them being like, Oh, remember this one. Does and that tell a story. That? Um, I don't think so. I think some other people decorate it fast. We make a night out of it. Yeah. There's hot chocolate, Christmas yeah. music. Yeah. And a lot of times, not always, a lot of times it was like, um, when we got home from Thanksgiving dinner at my husband's mom's house, we would do it yeah. that night, but um, we're those people, but not always because sometimes, uh, we had some stressful years that we just didn't get it up until like last year it was really before. sweet. Um, you know, we weren't living in the same house and Nadia, I thought we wouldn't even maybe have a tree. Um, and she decorated one for us. Um, yeah, her, my boyfriend had, a, had like, he loves Christmas. So he had a bunch of trees at his house and I was talking about how oh, I'm sad that, um, we don't have a Christmas tree. And he literally brought one of his trees up to our house. Mm -hmm. It was sweet. All right. Number two, do you like eggnog? I honestly don't think I've tried it, to be honest. I think I just assume that I will. Um, I like one taste of it or one drink of it once a year, like kind of to say I did. It's You wouldn't like it because she doesn't even like milk. Um, and it's like thick milk, I think. Okay. To be honest, I haven't really thought through what I'm doing with my makeup. I'm just going for, there's a bunch of pretty like reds and maroons, so I'm just going. Can I, can I take this off? Yeah. Do you keep it on? It always makes them feel like new when they're on. <laughs> well, it is but, new and you're going to use it. But yeah, you can take it off because I love you. Number three, what is your favorite holiday movie? Oh, I like Love Actually, and I like Miracle on 34th Street. Those are good ones. I like Love Actually also. And, you know, I probably would have forgotten to say it. I am such a Christmas movie kind of girl. Eve, my sister, would, like, honestly, she always wanted to, like, hang out with me and do whatever I was doing. But, like, in Christmas time, I was always watching, like, Christmas movies. And she was like, that was so annoying. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Hmm. Probably noodles, pretzel salad. Um, do you guys have pretzel salad? It's yeah, it's almost like a dessert. Pretzels, crushed up pretzels, cream cheese, and like strawberry jello, jello with strawberries. But like it actually, yeah, yeah, it has strawberries in it. It's, it's like mostly strawberries. It's not. I don't really like jello, but it's different from jello. I feel like yeah, that's good. But I still, I mean, just noodles, noodles are scrumptious Honestly, to me. Um, we have like a like a rice and broccoli like casserole that's Craig's favorite it's i i love rice mm -hmm. what's your favorite christmas song i think i have a bunch of these like i get i don't have a favorite um because like 
churchy music. I really love a holy night when it's like people sing it and it's so beautiful. But I also, I really like, and it's going to be corny, but you too did one <laughs> that like is one that I always listen to a bunch of times and I I'll have to look up the name and put it on. It's like, please come home for Christmas or something by you too. I really like that one. And then like for the little kitty one, I really like that. I'm Mr. Snow Miser. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Heat Miser. Like it's a brother, two brothers fighting it out. And it's from like that um, animated Christmas time story, not Rudolph, but the other one. Maybe the Misfit Toys. I don't know. But, oh, that cheers me up when I hear it in like a grocery store around Christmas time. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday scent? I don't, I love fall scents. I don't think I'm able to pick one on this. Yeah, because I like food yeah. scents. There are, like, I mean, cinnamon comes to mind. You know, just all the pine cones are, like, scented like, cinnamon. I like pumpkin. This one time I had, like, a pumpkin caramel cheesecake candle. Literally just once. And I don't know what kind of brand it is or anything, but I remember that one. It smelled amazing. Maybe I'll say that. Well, then, so number seven is pumpkin spice, yay or nay? Yeah, yay. Um, I would say yay for the smell, but I'm not nay either. for the taste. <laughs> um, just I don't like pumpkin taste. All right, number eight. What are your favorite holiday treats? I love Christmas. I love fudge and mm -hmm. Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. I just like sweets in general. There's so, oh, so many sweets. I like um, Craig's mom makes the cookies that have the Hershey Kiss in mm. the middle of them at Christmas, and I those are probably my favorite. Love those. She makes Christmas those cookies. Um, so she that's nice of her. Yeah, every I time like we them. make them, she's like, Casey loves these. I do. I really like them. Like absurdly, <laughs> like them. I think it's nice when people are like grateful for something that you make, though. She's like. Look at me, I'm doing I'm making Casey's cookies. <laughs> um I'm using literally yeah. the same brush for all of these, but it's working. What are you most thankful for this year? I'm not thankful for my mom. <laughs> You're whispering that. <laughs> You're, she said she was thankful for her mom. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember? <clears throat> I am really thankful for you. I just thought it was kind of funny to say that. Um, that was sweet. But I would say, I would say I'm thankful for my mom and I'm thankful for my dad, my sister, which is my family, and, and my cats. I'm thankful that, like, I think that we I'm talking, are going to get together, like, this year. Did we get together last year? Like, it was much smaller. Like, not everybody <sighs> came. What's the weirdest gift you've ever received? I know. You can think while I'm talking. Um, and I'm going to say it because it was probably the thing that I've liked the least. And I think it was just because it was embarrassing to me. Um, but my husband one time bought me three voice lessons <laughs> for a Christmas present. <laughs> because we'd been like singing that. some karaoke or something. And he thought that would, that would be something I'd really like. And I'm positive that the reason I didn't like it is because oh, I knew weirdest. that. Yeah, it's weirdest. Um, yeah. It's because I knew they weren't going to help. <laughs> like, it wasn't like. So I, I felt like it, all of a sudden it set it up like that. Oh, I'm going to have these three voice lessons and then <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be able to come in and start being able to sing karaoke for him <laughs> or something. And I just knew that like, yeah, th voice lessons are not going to help in this. I don't this. think anybody thought this is like just... bad enough that like there's no was helping it, this. Was it fun <clears throat> a little bit? Did it help at all? Did it make you any more confident? Like, um, I think that I, I picked up one or two little things from it that I probably still think about, but in the grand scheme of my voice, it wasn't enough to help. Um, so that was, yeah, I'm going to say that was the weirdest, weirdest for me. Mm -hmm. Do you decorate your house for the holidays? Yeah. I, I love to. Yeah. I, we used to a whole lot more. Um, we would have like, like we would go up to the attic and bring out like our boxes of Christmas decorations. And there'd be like seven toes. And, and like, like you would literally just be like, 
here, here's the box of pictures. Go put them around the house. We had like Christmasy frames with our Christmas. We used to get Christmas pictures taken like every year with Santa Claus. Those are all over the house. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I would love. Are we going to decorate for Christmas this year? Um, Because I don't even know where our stuff is. I know. Well, at Thanksgiving, we're going to go, you know, back home. So we'll be able to go to that storage unit and then we could get some things out of it and you could pick out whatever you want whatever and decorate want. with it. Whatever I want. Mm-hmm. What are you looking forward to the next year or this next year? Like 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited to start my senior year. I think that I will hopefully like my classes more and have a little bit more, a little, I'm taking less classes, less credit hours, so hopefully I can relax a little bit more. But also, can talk I- louder. <laughs> I have this ear plugged up now, so I'm <clears throat> nervous. Um, yeah. To switch things up with school. What are you looking forward to? I hope that things start feeling more normal. I think that, um, you know, because we moved right at the beginning of, like, March of 2020, and then I quit my job in October of 2020, and, I don't know, things just feel... And it was also like then when we really stopped being like living with our children and being near any of our friends and um, it just seems weird. I'd like to, in 2020, I'd like to maybe get a job <laughs> and um, I don't know, feel normal, I think. Where are we? Oh, if you could design an ugly holiday sweater, what would it look like? I would say glitter, puff balls for sure, probably... Uh, words probably would say some words something cheesy with like some animals on it but um, i can't i like it. the ones that have like animals like i've seen them with flamingos or llamas or elves those no, are animals i'm but... making i'm putting stuff i like on it because i love ugly sweaters yeah well, i think those are cute that's what i just said too that's why i put them on <laughs> um do i look good i think it could use a little blending What's your earliest holiday memory? Huh. Getting my cherry beds. I remember getting my cherry beds. <laughs> and and you were like maybe two? Our first house. Yeah. Oh, do you think you were? Two, two or three. Maybe almost three because my birthday's February. What is your favorite Christmas gift that you have ever gotten? Mm. I've gotten some pretty good Christmas gifts. I've gotten, I have always had amazing Christmases, honestly, gift wise. People really treated me well. My husband's family really buys nice gifts, like, and goes overboard with and, like, the Dad amount of and you gifts. Um, and well, Santa for me. I, like, we carried it on because Craig definitely wanted to. My family, we did, like, one gift. I mean, it was always a nice gift, um, but mom gives us, you know, one. One nice gift. Um, Craig's mom gives us like 20 nice gifts. <laughs> um, anyway, it always, honestly, it makes me feel a little, like it's getting better because now it's been 27 years. I'm used to it. But like it always, it, for years made me feel a little weird, actually, how good they were. Um, mine, I still think, is the time that I wanted to go see the Zach Brown Band in concert. And they were going to be in concert like two weeks after Christmas. Um, and I asked my husband for tickets to it. And it's really all I'd asked for. So I really felt like I would be getting it. But instead of him getting me and him tickets, he got me and three of my girlfriend's tickets and a hotel stay and like gave us cab money. And he made a big poster and he went around with I my three do- daughters and they took pictures of my friends like holding their tickets. I remember we went. But yeah, they made a big, talking about it big poster pictures. that had their pictures on it. And then like all these little envelopes that I could like pull out and then there's like a CD their CD that I could like pull out of a little spot and then like you know the hotel room you know thing in a little spot it was cute it was like a like an activity board <laughs> gift I feel like my parents my parents would um we would go on like vacations on Christmas break and so they would give us like like could, there were back-to-back years where they were just like we're going on a cruise tomorrow or something you know <laughs> um or I used to ask to go see my aunt in Arizona and me and my mom would go do that um and then before me and my dad have gone skiing those were all amazing yeah we I forgot almost that we used to do trips for gifts and they didn't always happen like 
the next day or two. I think that may have only happened once or twice. Sometimes they were like then at spring break or yeah, but she but um she would give us one time you had to wait until summer. Um, she would when we were little. She used to make it like puzzles, and we'd have to like figure it out. Um, but then like as we got older, um, she would just be, give us like a piece of luggage, and then it would be like in it. So we had something to like. And unra- I love unwrapping presents too. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, we were good parents. I love having. I love <laughs> Christmas. I love love presents. <laughs> what kind of Christmas shopper are you? Black Friday, Christmas Eve, all year round. I'm all year round, and like all the way up till Christmas Eve. I'm usually like still on Christmas Eve. I'm still doing it because I've forgotten things. But I will start in January or the day after Christmas. I guess. I haven't been like a Christmas shopper for that long, but I would I I probably say I'm like a Black Friday shopper. I'm like that's when you start. start thinking about it like around now, and I'm like, oh yeah, when it goes on sale, or not always on Black Friday, but around. What is the Christmas song that makes you cringe? Oh, ew, um, baby, it's cold outside. I suppose. <laughs> um, you know what? I thought of that last night when I heard these other people answering this question and then had forgotten about it. Yeah, like the rapey Christmas song. <laughs> I agree. Maybe it's cold outside. It's cringy. All right. Um, yeah, cringy probably isn't the right word, but it, whatever. Oh. oh, this is too close to the other one. Um, what's your favorite Christmas cookie? I've already said with the cookie with the. I like the one with the pretty picture chocolate with like frosting on and it's like a sugar cookie that's frosted pretty. Yeah. Hershey Kiss in the middle line. What's your least favorite Christmas movie? I hate the National Lampoon's vacation ones with Chevy Chase and everything goes wrong. I hate those. I don't like any of like the, uh, like the European vacation or any of those either, but the Christmas one, especially. Do you have a least favorite? No, I've watched some bad. I've watched some horrible Christmas movies. And honestly, it's all about the vibe for me. I just love Christmas movies. You got to finish up now. Cause we're on the last question. When you are buying Christmas gifts, are you in a in-store shopper or an online shopper? Um, online usually, but I don't. But yeah, I do both. But I am like a sale shopper, I would say. So. Yeah, and I feel like you can shop sales online. I just I look at my email, and it sends me like coupons and stuff, or like tells me about big sales going on. And I just look on there, and I'm like, ooh, this person like this, because I love shopping too. So getting to Having an excuse to buy things, even if it's for other people. Um, here's my, my eyeshadow look. Hold on now. How long have we been recording? 31 minutes, 32 minutes. There's a lot that can get cut out though, because I mumbled and rambled. I use um, the big smile, which is kind of shiny, and the bonus points, and the art deco and the selfie and the majestic and the atelier of the pink and actually why don't we stand up and we'll do um i used it in the pumpkin pie lighting pine cone in this palette and then i use pumpkin patch in this palette the red one Obviously, because I have red on my eyeballs. And I know that I have mascara on under my eyes. I'll clean it up. Thanks for staying to the end and joining us. Bye. Bye.